What is going on, guys? Thank you all so much for tuning in. I've got something a little bit different for you today, but I think you guys are really going to like this. So as you may know, there are some brand new surfaced spy shots of the brand new 2019 Mazda 3, completely next generation Mazda 3, really exciting. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and give this video a like if you enjoyed the information. So usually with spy shots, you can kind of tell what's going on, but believe it or not, there are a ton of details that really hint at what this new Mazda 3 is going to be like. So first of all, it is going to be a next generation vehicle. So you have a next generation Skyactiv platform. You're going to have a next generation motor, the new Skyactiv X engine. There's a link in the description if you want to know more about the Skyactiv X engine. It's basically like a spark uh, controlled compression ignition so SCCI or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's it, but anyways, you guys can look up more on that in the description. Also, I got these pictures from topspeed.com. Visit them if you want the latest car news, really solid website. Love going to their website. So anyways, let's start with this picture that I have up right here. You guys can probably see my cursor going around right there. So one thing I want to point out, so let's start with these wheels. So now as you guys can see, there's an a little bit different of a wheel design here. They're blacked out. Not sure if that's going to make it to production or not, but they look pretty decent. Can't really tell what brand of tire that they are in this picture. Um, is a little is a little bit blurred, but you can obviously see that it is a different wheel design than before. Now, one other thing I do want to point out is that you do have this obviously new front end, which is going to be more in line with the Kodo design, which is going to be the same thing as the Kai concept, which debuted last year. So that's pretty cool. Now, moving on to this next picture, you guys can get a really good look of the silhouette of the car. So as you can see, it follows basically the same shape as the Kai, not really as prominent with the roundness of it. You do have a little bit more curves back here than you did on the Kai concept, but you obviously have a lot more of a smoothed out vehicle. Um, it looks pretty aggressive going towards the front. I can kind of s see that I'm going to like the front end a little bit more. Um, you do have a tiny little spoiler right back here, so that is kind of nice. Now let's go on to the next picture because there's really not much in these first two. These, this picture you're going to get a lot from. So first of all, let's look at this screen. This is a really cool screen. Now, obviously, it's different than before. Um, it actually looks more... BMW like the current generation BMWs sort of have this screen going on right here So that is pretty neat Obviously you're gonna have leather here with some stitching coming across right below that You're going to have a little screen that I guess is going to tell you all of your AC controls things like that And maybe it'll be digital which will be pretty cool. You've got some buttons here. Can't really make out what they say um, You have a button here. It almost looks like a CD eject, but seeing as most companies are going away from that not sure if that's really accurate uh, you do have this new start stop button which looks very nice i do like that a lot you also notice that you have a digital display here which is going to be in line with the signature version of the new mazda 6 you also have a vent right here and you're going to have a vent over here so these two vents are going to be just for the driver it looks like and then you have a vent over here which is going to flow into this which I'm not sure if this is a vent. It may be like some wood or something like that, uh, but it's really neat either way how they got the lines to flow so neatly into that. Now let's look at the steering wheel. So you can obviously see there's some metal toggles right here. I guess you toggle up and down and it look, look, looks like some metal buttons underneath that. Really nice paddle shifters right back here. So that is a good thing. At least they still have the paddles. Uh, which is pretty unique for this class of vehicle. Now coming down, you can see the boot for the shifter. It looks like you have an area here. I'm guessing you push that down, it folds up, and maybe you have storage space or cup holders. Not really sure what they would put there. And then some leather lining right there. So lots of cool stuff in this picture. Now moving on to the next picture, even more cool stuff. Obviously the first thing you're going to notice is the stick shift. So you have a stick shift as an option, which is always Good, so all the enthusiasts get excited about that because I'm pretty sure this new engine is going to come with a shifter, uh, with a stick shift as an option. You also have this new dial here, which hopefully has a little bit more of a solid click. That's the one thing I didn't like about the current generation Mazda 3 is that the um, dial feels a little cheap at times. You also have a new setup over here, not really 
able to make out these buttons, but you can obviously see that they are improved from the current generation. Now, moving up to the steering wheel here, we can obviously see that you have adaptive cruise right here. This is the steering wheel that sort of mimics the Kai concept. So basically they took this from that. It looks really cool. It almost looks like current gen Mustang GT, which isn't a bad thing. I like the current generation Mustang GT steering wheel. It's nice. It's great. It looks like it has some pretty good leather. You've got double stitching going right there, it looks like, um, unless the blur is just making it look like it's double. You've got some metal coming right here. Looks like real metal all through here. Really nice material so far. Um, looks like automatic uh, high beams over here on the end of the steering wheel stock, which is also pretty cool. You guys can get another good look at those vents or vent right there. Not sure once again if that's two vents or not, but you can see it a little bit better from this angle. Now over here, I can make out at least a few of these. So this does look like a camera view, which is great. I absolutely love the cars that you can just press that, pull up a camera view, comes in handy. Parking sensors off, you're going to have traction control here. It says I something off. Maybe it's your suite of safety systems. Maybe you can just turn it off with one click. That'd be cool. But the big news is down here, you do have one and two memory seat settings and maybe an area here for change or something like that. Now down here, obviously it is confirming this is a stick shift. You've got one, two, and three pedals, which is going to be awesome. I cannot wait for that. Now looking at this gauge cluster, it is off right now, but you can see that obviously these two are going to be normal gauges with backlights behind them, and this is going to be an LCD right here in the middle. Now let's move on to the next picture. This is really cool as well. So a few cool things in here. You can obviously see they have a golf right here that they're testing it against guessing to help it feel a little bit more German, and I'll get more on that in just a second. Let's look at the door. Bose sound system, that's basically the same outline as what the Bose symbol looks like, and plus Mazda uses Bose, so I know for a fact that this is a Bose sound system. Lock and unlock right here. This metal speaker, which is really nice, but check out this red leather right here. This is awesome. And you have this metal piece that's gonna flow underneath that. Really cool. Um, all of your window controls, but check this out. I think that's ambient lighting underneath there, which the current Mazda 3 does not have, so that's pretty cool. Looks like you got some soul red here, but you also have red leather seats, maybe as an option. Uh, obviously, he is sitting on red leather, so it looks like they're gonna have that in the Mazda 3, which is cool as well. So lots of cool stuff here. I really like that, but check out this guy. I'm not really sure what he's wearing like a Mercedes-Benz jacket for, but you can see the Mercedes-Benz right there. Maybe they have someone from Mercedes-Benz helping to test against or test with, or maybe he's just wearing some Mercedes-Benz mer merchandise, you never know. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for this photo. So moving on to the next, this is really cool. One thing I wanna point out that I thought was really cool, check out these mirrors. Look at this mirror design. That is really cool. It's almost like Lexus-like. Um, that's a real high quality looking mirror design. It looks really nice. Um, I love how it's mounted to the panel instead of up here because it's closer to you and you can see a little bit better. And you can also see this big thick line, real CX-5 like obviously. Uh, it's gonna run all the way down the front. Here's your light. You obviously have a halo ring right around there and it looks like you have some like frayed out designs here that may just be part of the headlamp reflecting, I'm not really sure. But another cool thing is check out this piece. This is normally chrome on vehicles like the CX-5, but it's like a dark chrome here and it looks sick. I love that. Uh, you also have this cool uh, honeycomb grill right here, which looks really, really nice. Uh, over here to the side, you're going to have, I don't know if you guys can see this, really hard to see, but right here you can kind of see a line which is going to echo the front of the Kai a little bit. You're going to have a thick chin spoiler down here, so you guys can see this big frown coming right here. You got a really thick piece right there, and then it looks like you got something hiding right behind here as well. But yeah, really nice overall looking front design. But check this out. Do you guys see this? That is definitely a heads up display, but not the one that flips up. That's definitely the one that projects onto the windscreen. So that is a really cool design as well. Now, going on to the next picture, you guys can just see a little bit more of the back end in which we can see the lights, so really nothing much 
here, but moving on to this one, if I zoom in, so see these four dots here? You have the same four dots right here, just a little bit smaller. So as you guys may have remembered, the Kai concept had two rings, and it looks like this is going to have the two rings as well, because if I come to this side, you can also vaguely see the little dots right there. So you're going to have the four circular tail lamps in the back, which is going to be really neat. You also have a clear cutout of the trunk going right here and a real thick bumper in the back a lot thicker than the current generation for sure now going on to the next picture here's where it gets super interesting so obviously you have your volkswagen golf right here that they're testing against but then you have an audi a3 back here and that just goes more to the fact that mazda has said they are planning on taking this generation mazda 3 a lot more upmarket, so they want to make it a lot more of a bang for your buck, very premium vehicle, and they have the previous generation Mazda 3, which is a very good thing. The previous generation Mazda 3 was a phenomenal car, so keeping good bits from this and then transferring that to here and then just improving upon it is always a good thing, so I really hope they can keep the good things from the previous gen Put it in the new gen and then just approve upon those things and of course adding new things to that as well so that is a pretty cool shot right here really tells a lot about what mazda's planning on doing with this current vehicle now this is the last photo now there may not be a ton in this picture but as you guys can see you got the hatch open you got the doors open right here um, but if we zoom in on the wheels now i may be wrong but i think that may say Bridgestone, maybe not, I'm not really sure, but I do know the current Mazda 3 came with Dunlop tires. As long as those tires are not on this Mazda 3, we are winning. Over here to the headlights, um, you can see the circle design. It looks like you also have a little LED right here. And you can really just see how aggressive that line is coming all the way from right here, just flowing right into the hood or right into the front grille right there really nice once again you can also see that heads up display right here and yeah so that's pretty much going to be it uh, very excited about this new Mazda 3 I'm pretty sure it's going to be amazing uh, let me guys let me know in the comments what you guys think if you're going to uh, potentially be a customer for this new Mazda 3 I know my wife and I are looking for just a second vehicle. This may or may not be on our list of things to get. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Mazda is doing things very, very well as of late. They're making some incredible driving cars, incredible enthusiast cars um, with some fantastic technology. And just the bang for your buck with Mazda just keeps getting better and better. So this is one vehicle that I am actually very, very excited for, and I hope you guys are too. But thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really hope it was informative, and be sure to stay tuned to the LA Auto Show at the end of this month where Mazda will unveil the production version without all the wrap of this new 2019 Mazda 3, and of course, all the details, all the specs. So can't wait to review it for you guys. Be sure to subscribe once again if you have not already subscribed to my channel. I have new content every single week. And if you like this style video, be sure to let me know in the comments if you think I should do more like this. Uh, but yeah, guys, y'all take care and y'all enjoy. Bye.